All right, we got a new game going on. What class are we to next? The astrologer. Oh man. Okay, what do what do we have with this class? All right. So we got glintstone pebble and glintstone arc, and a short sword. Nice. And is this a medium shield? No, this is a small shield. Okay, so that, at least that's good. Nice. And it has parry. So just finished up the bandit uh, playthrough. It's pretty good. Okay, pretty good just being nice. It was fine. There's nothing really remarkable about it. And I'm expecting the exact same here. Uh, Glintstone Arc, Glintstone Pebble are probably not going to be very good. I'm trying to even think of like what we want what we want to do. So the boss that we're going to be adding this playthrough is going to be Fortisax. Um, because we probably should go um, get the Magic Scorpion Charm anyways. So might as well. All right. I, mean, I guess we have the usual setup with Torrent. We can go get Bloody Slash and um, put that on our short sword so we can kill uh, Grail. Um, so per usual, the rules being can't take anything off, can't add anything. We can change um, the Ashes of War and give them affinities. But other than that, that's, that's all we can do. That and Talismans. Thank you for the bequeathing. All right, I guess let's go go Physic, Fort Height. We'll get Sleep Pots, even though that I doubt that they're gonna be very useful. What we might do, I think we're gonna switch hands. Uh, the shield and the um, staff. So let's go ahead and do that. So just in case you guys are really being tedious about it, I didn't unequip anything. And Let's go ahead and put uh, this bad boy on. Um, if you can see right there, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see because of how dark it is with the current camera settings, which work in progress. I have officially sold my other PC. Now that is exciting because I was using the other PC or selling the other PC that is to fund um, a lot of upgrades for this setup. And we are finally done. What that means is we are going to be having some upgrades to the setup very, very, very soon. Maybe even before this video is uploaded. Well, I mean, definitely before the video is uploaded, but maybe even before this video is like finished recording. So, so I am very excited to get that stuff going. Okay, there we go. That took way too long. Oh, we never gave us all the maps. Well. Guess we're gonna do that. We're not. We're not doing this anyway, so it's okay. Um, all right, let's go. Got to go. Um, it's a round table. Then we're gonna kill Grail um, and Knight's Cav. We'll probably do Knight's Cav on the way. Let's see if we can get lucky. I need to figure out what <laughs> talismans we want to use. Um, we we'll get the Magic Shroud Crack Tier. I guess we'll actually spend the time to get the Magic Scorpion Charm. I guess that actually makes sense this time. So we got Radagon's Icon for spell casting speed. We got Magic Scorpion Charm so that we can uh, get, I think it's 10 or 12% extra magic damage. What are our other two? There's one that increases potency of sorceries by like 4%. It's not a whole lot. Yeah, I don't know. Oh no. He's gonna respawn. Bro, what? Is there anybody who has as bad as luck? At we're, we're skipping this for now. I, I don't want to. We're gonna want this later though. That's the frustrating part. We can just freaking kill BBK or something if we need the runes. Like, I, oh man. All right. And we'll get Radagon Sword Seal and that might end up just being a staple is what we have to do. Alright. Now that we have that, where are we gonna go? Uh, I need to go get, um, we need to go to the first step. Um, need to go get the foul foot. I don't know why that counts, but I love that it does. Um, okay, let's go to Grail. Alright, here we go. Be back in 30 minutes. Alright, foul foot. Nice. Alright. 
Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go get the graces necessary around here. Also going to pick up starlight shards because we're going to need them when dealing with uh, what's his face. I don't remember his name. So we have a couple options. We can either go straight to Margit and deal Margit and Godric uh, plus zero. Or we can go get plus 12 um, and go do all of our Lyernia setup. I'm kind of leaning towards doing a good amount of setup. Let's see why not. Excuse you. 15, 15, 15, 15 and then Rex. Rest into just freaking int. I mean, I guess that makes some sense. All right, let's, I guess let's go ahead and go to Lyernia. Uh, while we're in Lyernia, we can go ahead and kill, um, uh, who am I thinking of? Oh, we need this wet blade. Uh, oh my Lord. Uh, we can go ahead and kill Loretta. Um, I wonder what is Loretta weak to? I mean, lightning would make sense, but we're not going that far into we're not gonna be able to go into lane dell to get that wet blade so what that means is we're going to go to Liernia. uh we're going to get the uh smithing stone bell bearing we're gonna go to altus get the other smithing stone bell bearing we'll be able to get plus 12. Uh, we're also gonna get the intelligence tier we're gonna get the magic shrouding cracked tier it's a mouthful we'll kill red wolf get radagon's icon I think that's a good start. Uh, oh, we'll also get the magic wet blade, which means we got to get an Astral War to put on this, which the lo most logical one is um, <laughs> Bloodhound Step. <laughs> but let's do that. We'll get Assassin's Gambit. Because, I mean, chances of us two handing the short sword is not very high. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll get Assassin's Gambit. After we get Altus. I think we can go ahead and do Saluvius' quest line. That's fine. And we will go use our shield the one time we will use it this entire run, which will be on the Crystallians. I don't want to walk in the front door of Volcano Manor, but I'm not sure how you get to, uh... Not sure how you get to the lady when you go through the, uh, Virgin Abductor. I hate this tunnel. Apparently there's a skip for it. I probably need to learn it because of how much I hate this tunnel, but that's not for today. All right. Um, okay. Do this and this. I don't think anything's in my physics, so we're not going to use it. Nice. Boop. Boop. Nice. Goodbye. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh no, it's not perfect. Let's not even lie to ourselves. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to Altus, get the other. No, we need to go kill Bernal. Hold on. Go kill Bernal before, just in case. I'm assuming the short sword is going to be the best thing for him. Not really sure. Go with that. Bernie. Bye, Bernie. All right, just give me your bell bearing and leave. Okay, nice. Okay, now we go to Altus. Oh, Ritual Sword Talisman. How could I ever forget? My favorite talisman. Oh, we... Yeah, we gotta get the Curse Mark of Death. Forgot about that, too. We're gonna hold off on Gillica because I think at this point she might actually be not easy. <laughs> we haven't very high on anything at the moment. All right, turn around. Thank you. What is the quickest way to join Volcano Manor? Because the problem I'm seeing is if we go the route, the Volcano Virgins, they're not Volcano Virgins, Abductor, Abductor Virgins, we're not going to be able to get to the main room where you actually join. So I guess we're going to have to go Mount Gelmir, which I mean, it's fine. We'll, we'll do some other stuff first. Uh, we only need 22 here. Yeah, we're nowhere near enough runes. Okay, um, let's go. Let's go ahead and get Volcano Manor out of the way with, and uh, and we'll go ahead and get the Amber Starlight Shard while we're over here. All right. Uh, how do I get out of here? 
So that's pretty much the Lubius's quest line done. Uh, we just need one more Starlight Shard and then we'll be good to go. Um, so let's go to this church over here and get the Sacred Tear. Now, I don't think we should get invaded here. I think it should just be the Sanguine Noble. Yep. Uh, there's a trigger. I don't know what the trigger is, but there's a trigger that triggers it to be uh, Eleonora. And as you clearly just saw, we had not met that case. So good press. I hate this place so much. Oh man, just in case. Now we just gotta go join Volcano Manor and then we'll be done with this part, which is good. And then I guess we'll go kill, I guess we could actually just go kill Margit or we could, or we could go to Red Wolf. Doesn't much matter. Okay, sounds fun. All right, so Bernie should now have, that's 6,000. We're gonna go kill Margit. Uh, let's do this one, Max, and then we'll do the sword, whatever else we can. I guess Red Wolf. I'm not sure why I chose Red Wolf, um, over a good old Marge, but I did, so. Uh, I would like to have everything relatively set up prior to going and fighting, you know, a major boss, which I think plus 12 with Assassin's Gambit, or plus, uh, plus 6 with Assassin's Gambit would be good for me. Still have nothing in the physic. Shouldn't need it. I think we're just gonna use the short sword here because um, magic's gonna do absolutely nothing against him, so. That was supposed to be a repost, but that clearly did not work. Nice miss. All right, I didn't need to do two. Uh, we're gonna go get the wet blade, then we're gonna go get um, Radagon's icon, and then we will go upgrade our weapons and go kill Marge. All right, there we go. Now, dude, we have done so much development. We should just cruise through. Uh, wait, can we not? Oh, I didn't even thought this was gonna happen. Okay, well. All right, so we wanna get there and yeah, we don't have any money. Um, all right, Marge. That means we probably will be going and getting a Bloodhound Step, which is very unfortunate. All right, Margaret. Oh yeah, we wanted to get the shield out for parries. And that's pretty good damage. Nice. I actually didn't know you could parry that, so I kind of got lucky there. Really, dude? Dude, Margaret sucks, man. Such a terrible... Okay, he's not a terrible boss. I say everybody's a terrible boss when I get mad. He's he's not a terrible boss. He's fine. Alright, open the gates, buddy. Um, We'll go to round table. Should be... I don't know if we can get to plus 12, actually. I'm not sure. Um... Oh, uh, well, okay, well. All right, let's go kill Godric. <sighs> Not really sure what Godric's gonna look like. Um, probably gonna use a lot of Glintstone Pebble. I think that'll probably be fine. Uh, we'll try Glintstone Arc first. I don't like it. I, I, I think Glintstone Arc's pretty bad. Not terrible, I guess. I mean, Glenstone Pebble is way better. Forgot to put that on. Oh, dude, that speeds it up so much. Really? That was... Dude, 
if we can get some bleed build up on him. Got stuck in an animation. Nice. Not gonna let me repost? Okay. Yeah, a little bit more stamina. Oh no, we got him. Okay, cool. I mean, that was dirty. All right. Should be able to get plus 12. Okay, so that was fine. I think we overbought a little bit. Um, um, Renala, why not? Let's go kill Renala. Uh, so Renala is probably just going to be this because her magic resistance is something like 80%. Like it's ridiculous. So this is just going to be the short sword. Oh, what? Didn't know you would try and come back in. All right, let's kill some children. Come here. You know, for whatever reason, I've been struggling with Ronaldo lately. I'm not really sure why. Phase two, obviously. Nice. Going. Oh my. Okay. Bye, Renala. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. Um, I'm kind of in boss mode. Do we want to go kill Radon now? We'll kill Radon. Then after we kill Radon, what are we gonna do? Um, after we kill Radon, maybe we do Salubius's quest line. Radon should be pretty easy, I think. He might, he might know, he might hit like one hit me on everything, but sure, why not? All right, we're Daniel. Uh, okay, we still don't have anything in the physic. <laughs> okay, well. Next time some pebble went flying, man. Dude, I'm trying. There's just not a good reason to use these. Oh, nice. Okay. No, you don't. Get back down here. We killed him with Gunstone Pebble. You can't say I didn't use it, because I did. Was it efficient? No. And I didn't use it much, but I used it. I did do that. All right, uh, what's our next move? 20 HP and then just continue intelligence. Magic Shrouding, Crack Tier. We already have a Grace near. Intelligence Tier we're about to go get, so. You know what? I wonder what Sacred Blade would do to a Royal Revenant. Like, I'm just curious. We'll go to Karia. Fighting Loretta with a bloody weapon makes zero sense. Let's, uh... We'll just do that. Makes more sense. I mean, I'm assuming that she's not weak to magic. Like, that wouldn't make any sense. But we'll give Glenstone Pebble a try. I mean, why not? Oh man, I love Assassin's Gambit. It's so cool. 
my opinion, it might be the coolest Ash of War. That's probably not going to be true. Um, I mean, it does decent damage. I'm not going to. I mean, the tracking on it sucks, but. Probably should have died there too. You're getting a little cocky. Um, yeah, I don't think that there's gonna be one up there though. All right. Go talk to all these buffoons and then I guess we'll talk to Salivius and get uh, his wacky potion. Blood's already doing his thing. Just gotta talk to Salivius. All right, so Salubius is potion, then layer, then after layer, it is puppets, which needs the starlight shards, and then we get our stuff. Go give this to Gideon. All right, yeah, whatever. Okay, where's another one of those stupid things? There's a painstakingly obvious one in, um, I do know where the one in Limgrave is, so it's, uh, it's over there somewhere. Uh, we'll go get this one. Um, uh, this should be good. I don't think that we have to, I think we can go ahead and finish this entire quest here just by continuing to teleport back, I think. So give us our third talisman slot, and then we will go get Ritual Sword Talisman. Okay. Now let's go poke his little lair. Salubius' puppet, do not touch. Ah, even more weirdness. All right, Salubius. So uh, we did that one. Uh, yeah, I guess we do have to buy two more. Wait, we need three? Oh, I chose the wrong puppet. Okay. Um... Impaling thrust, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Impaling thrust is pretty good. And cold. All right, nice. Um, all right. Where's another thingy? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I never knew this one was here. All right. Well, this will get us uh, goodies. All right, Salubius. All right. So we need to remember to choose the other puppet, not the jarhead. No, 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 we, yeah, we want the jar head. That's what we need to start doing. Beautiful. All right, uh, there's that. And now we shall go obtain our two, what's it called? And then I'll probably call it for tonight. Uh, the Physic Tears. Very clean avatar fight. Shing. I'm just gonna wait for the items. Nice, okay, now let's go to here. Let's get our int tier, and then I'm gonna call it for the evening. Oh, all right. All right, um, I guess, what all do we have to do for Ronnie's quest now? We've already talked to her, so we can get, uh, we can go underground uh maybe let's go kill goldfree do i have another i don't have another talisman equipped i don't even know what would be good with this because we can get the finger slayer blade and it means that we can go to stealth fortis x um so i just bought slash downloaded modern warfare 3. um i haven't played it i haven't touched it it's actually still downloading i'm pretty sure and i will give my full thoughts at some point from what I understand, which I'm going to say my knowledge of this is very low, so don't take this with any credibility. Go look for yourself, as I encourage everybody to do. But they literally just merged. It's pretty much Modern Warfare 3, they gave, or Modern Warfare 2. They gave us 
the original Modern Warfare 2 maps added a few more guns and that's it. Like you're still using the old guns. Um, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of what they're doing at the moment, which I'm not going to pretend to know everything about it. Like, I mean, I get it there. You obviously have finances. Like, I, I get it. But at the same time, like there's no way that the developers are behind like yeah, I think that this is the absolute best thing to do. Like, there, there's no way they think that. Cause like, I, I'm a software developer myself. I don't do gaming. Like, I don't, that's not the type of software I make. I do work for a fan company though. But I can just tell you from the mind of a developer, you wouldn't feel good about it. Maybe you do feel good about the, um, the game itself. I, the game is probably good, but there's no way you feel good about the marketing. Like, there's no way you feel good about them marketing it as a new game, charging you $70. But then when you go and download it, literally, I thought this was just a PS5 thing, which I thought was super savage, but it's not. It's an overall thing. When you buy Modern Warfare 3, it just updates Modern Warfare 2. It literally, you buy it, and then it just goes and updates Modern Warfare 2. Like, come on. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm a tad disappointed. Like I'm excited and I'm hoping that there's some nostalgia to it um, when I go and play it. And I hope that it feels not like Modern Warfare 2. Um, I hope it feels a little like that at least. I don't know, man. I'm just a tad disappointed. That doesn't mean the game's not good. I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played it. I told you guys I haven't played it, but I just personally have not been on board with what it seems like they're pushing out uh, that's just it, it hasn't felt great to me and that's a me thing and everybody else can have their own opinions i mean who am i to say if it's good or bad i can just tell you that i'm not a fan of it but i'm just just a tad disappointed you know but but that's okay um i'm gonna play it it might be a very fun game i hope it is because i want something to play like i love elden ring and elden ring is very fun but I don't only want to play Elden Ring for the rest of my life, as I'm sure most people don't. And I wouldn't mind not playing only Elden Ring for the entirety of my channel. The thing I like about Elden Ring though, and, and games like Elden Ring, uh, not, not just Souls-like games, but in general, is when there's something to do and there's ways to challenge yourself, it makes creating videos easier because you're not um, solely relying on your personality do we want to go underground and kill ancestor spirit or do we want to go mainline we're gonna go kill ancestor spirit estelle and fortis x all in one fail swoop that makes the most sense so we're gonna skip out on that for now what are our flasks at plus five i bet you were missing one of the altus ones um which i know which i think i know which one it is it's the one by uh lanciax i think and we might we still didn't fix our flask. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Bro. Nice. No frost. There we go. Oop. I mean, the AOE is nice though, like. Nice. Well, uh, you guys can't say that I didn't use Glintstone Arc now. I definitely did. So, let's grab this Grace. And let's, we could kill BBK though, because magic is really good against BBK. Well, let me define really good. I know it's at least his weakest resistance. Um, intelligence. We can go ahead and get the 50K from this though. Or is it 60? It's 60 with the rune. Nice. All right, uh, I mean, Dude, if, 
I mean, technically, if you combine uh, both the... Um, like, okay, if you use this as a holistic class, it's not bad. It's just if you try and use only one thing, it kind of sucks. Um, where's the Falfi recipe? I think it's this lake right here that has a bunch of golden fireflies. We need to go over here. Any um, we're not going to go through this right quick. I just want to get this grace while we're over here. Hold on. Where do, where do we find golden fireflies? Let's just stop guessing. Tower of Return. Yeah, so it is down here in uh, Weeping. Dang it. Well, now that we're going through Weeping, we might as well go ahead and grab all the Sacred Tears. This is what I wanted to avoid doing, but here we are. I don't know why we would come back here, but... Alright, so there should be 11 Fireflies. Uh, if we go to the right place. Oh, there we go. This is the right place. Let's make sure we don't miss any. All right, I think that's all of them. Where are my birds? All right, at this point, I think we're just wasting time. Got another one. Cool. Um, we'll have two, so that'll be enough for Gold Free and Morgat. I guess. Let's see if that works. Oh, it did work. Okay, cool. I don't think that we're going to get the Sacred or Lightning, or the... Sanctified Wet Blade. I don't think there's a point, so we're gonna skip that. So what are our talismans? We got Radagon's Icon, Magic Scorpion Charm, Radagon's Source Seal. I think I wanna keep all of these on. So what is our next one? What would boost our damage? Um, so that's not gonna be helpful. We could do Merica's Source Seal, but that's gonna even, that's gonna increase the damage we take even more. So I just don't think is a good idea. Don't have time for that. Oh, come on. Nice. Didn't start out good, but we cleaned it up. Let's uh, finish with that. I mean, it didn't didn't start pretty. It actually started pretty bad, but finished it well, which I mean, not how you start is how you finish. I mean, how you start can sometimes contribute to how you finish, but if you finish absurdly well, then it compensates for your bad start. Uh, that's just disappointing. I did 161. I mean, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get, it's only gonna get better as we upgrade. Oh, we should get Ritual Sword Talisman. We'll get it later. There we go, 300. Dang it. Also, haven't gotten a Frost proc, so that could be a... I'm not sure if we're going to even hit him enough. Oh, we did. Okay, nice. There's a good thing about spells is you can punish stuff like that. Nice. I'll flip. I mean, that was that was a pretty good that was that was a good fight. At least in my opinion, I thought that was a pretty good fight right there. Um a lot of good happened right there. So, what I really liked about this class is there are a lot more punishing openings because you didn't lose your melee openings, but you gained some long range openings, which he has a fairly good amount of actually. Um, so oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We're gonna save these runes. I think I decided this was quicker. Uh, we're gonna save these for the smithing stones. We need to get more foul feet and we need to go get ritual sword talisman. Then we'll be good for fire giant. Um, we need to go kill more quails for foul feet. God's gonna do is gonna be a mess. Can already feel it. It's gonna be an actual God's gonna do a fight. No cheesing here. I really don't feel like running to fire giant. I, I say this every time. Running to fire giant might be. I think it's the worst part of this game. Like the entire game is running to fire giant. 
Alright, and then the rest will go into intelligence. Um, because we're probably good on mind. And I kind of want to see how far we can crank this damage up. So, 47 int. We are big brain. Alright, let's, uh... We'll get Ritual Sword Talisman, and then we're gonna get some more feet. And off to Fire Giant. I don't. I think Fire Giant might be long. I don't think it'll be hard. We're gonna switch over all of our flasks to blue though, because with 25 Vig, really bad armor, and uh, Radagon Sword Shield making us take more damage, I don't think that we're gonna be able to survive more than one hit. Maybe, maybe one hit. Gonna put in work on her. I'll take it. Isn't it crazy how Gillick is worth 8,500? And let's go to this cave and see if more birdies show up. Ching. How do they all get away in time? That's kind of wild. All right, well, that's enough birdie hunting. Ow. All right, the fire giant. I will be taking that. All right. We give ourselves one flask because I don't see us even getting that. Um, and then we're gonna craft two foul feet just in case I accidentally use one. Here we go, baby. Fire, 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 fire giant. All right, let's see if we can get a frost applied. Oh, uh, well, I guess that works. Should be close to frosting. No frost yet? Okay. Well, he should be absurdly close. There we go. That wasn't enough? Okay, there we go. Nice. There we go. And that wasn't enough. All right. All right. Go start to finish him. Nice. 250,000. Yes, sir, baby. Looking good. All right. Let's see how far we can make it. 55. All right, we'll go. Oh, we'll at least go set up. Gods can do. All right. Hopefully, we'll, on Gods can do, we'll finally get to see, like, actually how good, like, Glenstone, Pebble, and Ark is, because... The damage numbers are definitely skewed on Fire Giant. I don't know what his multiplier is, but those numbers are always heavily skewed. I mean, he does have like 100,000 XP, so, or maybe 50,000, but still a lot. Unless we want to try and just fight him straight up. Cause I mean, let's at least give it one good uh, setup try. Happily, so there's five. Then up here we can get another, another five, I think. So that'll be 10. Well, we can only do six because I didn't go get the other crack pots lying around, so. I'd be fine with nothing, buddy. Uh, where are those crack pots? They're not in here. Do you actually have to buy them from freaking, what's his face? All right, call him. That should be something. I think my goal here is if you charge our twos. Did he get in it enough? No. Oh, he did. Nice. Okay. Why am I doing more damage this time? Did I not use my flash last time? Come on, Nate. You can... I can't do that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh yeah, now we're doing much better damage. Wow. And that was without full HP. 
time for stuff than that. He didn't get frostbitten. Dude, look at that damage, man. See, this is what I was talking about, uh, Glintstone Pebble having the opportunity to just cause havoc. Okay, well. I should be able to get this off before he gets even over here. Yep, sure did. Nice, and I think I got the extra runes. I should have. Yep, I sure did. Look at that, man. Talk about execution. All right, let's go get these uh, smithy stones, and then I think I'm gonna call it for the evening. Dude, that that was a pretty spicy. Uh, you might be able to like completely script it. Like that. That's kind of wild. All right, we need 24, and we need 24. Ah, oh, crap. I meant to use that on the, on the staff. That's okay. Probably should be able to rank up a couple more times, too. Probably just once. Uh, yeah, once. Uh, we will start by... Do we want to do Gideon, maybe? I mean, do we... Wait, that's going to be useless against Gideon. Oh, wait. We're not even there yet. We're at Malakath. Uh, I guess let's go kill Malakath. Or we could take a shot at, um, Citasax. Well, Citasax is probably our hardest boss left. Come on, man. There we go. Um, do we want to go give Citasax a shot? I'm confident with Malakast. Alright, so there's that. Um, we'll go give Plassey a try. Really? How did that miss? It went through the tail. Honestly, let's go kill Malakath because I'm really interested to see what the damage is like on Placidisex as we continue to rank up. It might not change much. It might change a lot. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So in 293 sorcery scaling, I don't know if that's good. Alright. A nice and safe start. Nice. I don't think that I like pure magic builds, but hybrid between magic and melee is really nice because with melee you're waiting for a lot of openings, but with magic and melee, you're just it like creates more openings. You're not losing any openings, you're just creating more. That's not what I wanted you to do. Nice. Oh, we barely got out of that one. You gotta be close to a stagger, right? Uh, speaking of the devil. And, jeez, dude. That's so nasty, man. That's so nasty. <laughs> Astrologer's my favorite so far. And I typically don't like magic. Like, genuinely. Let's change that. And instead of, I don't like magic, I just don't like magic only. I'm really liking this build. It's super complimentary. Part of this video is just going to be freaking weird uh, because my computer decided to be weird, I guess. So Gideon gives over 100,000. Horlu gives way over 100,000. So we should be able to get probably to 70 int. Prior to going and fighting Placidisax again. Dude, we're going to melt through Fortisax and all them. I knew you'd come. Stand before the Elden Ring. Become Elden Lord. Just 
Yeah, good luck. I suppose too, buddy. Two knocks him out of that? Okay. Let's pebble him. Goodbye. First try, Gideon. You know the build's good if it first tries Gideon. <laughs> I mean, that's a good test. How many classes have we had that have one hit Gideon? Or not one hit, one one cycled Gideon. Maybe the Halberd uh, with the Vagabond, actually. And it's pretty long, so you don't have to get too close to him. All right, Godfrey, I think it's probably going to be relatively easy. Once again, it just adds more openings. It doesn't take any away. That's that's what's exciting about this class, man. Uh, I don't think we have anything to pop. Nope. All right, let's uh, go kill Godfrey. Then we'll go kill Placidus X. Then we'll do all the underground stuff. And then we'll finish with uh, Ratabeast. Ow. Wow. Just get absolutely shredded, dude. So much. Oh man, dude, this, this is definitely my favorite. Like, look how effortless this is. Oh my gosh, and he hasn't even gotten frostbitten yet. Oh my gosh, just destroyed him. Did I use a heal? Yeah, I guess I got hit once, right? Oh my gosh, just. Get absolutely destroyed, man. Dude, this, <laughs> this class is ridiculous. 74. Okay, let's go. Let's go fight Plassey now. So we were doing uh, 667 uh, with the thrusting sword, and we were doing um, a little over 300 with the pebble, I think. I really like our talisman, so I was going to say we could uh, go get the talis uh, warrior dar shard. We might be able to if I knew where Alexander was, but I don't, so. Fine. Let's go ahead and refill, just in case. I'm not going to use the land squirt ashes. I don't know if any of our remaining bosses can actually get poisoned, though, so. Use it on Placidus X. I mean, we actually. <laughs> Am I actually considering this? Why not? Land squirt ashes. We're not doing our stab up front. We're going to do the land squirt ashes. I don't know if this will change anything, like the way that he operates or whatever, but... Alright, squirts. Oh. Where, why did it, where, what, I'm in, I'm... I literally got inside him. They did proc poison, though, like... <laughs> Dude, I love that so much. Okay, now I should do the attack that I like. Yep. yep. Great. All right, we're just gonna keep doing this. Nice. Beautiful. Come on, keep going. Nice. Good hit. Nice. Okay. Good plasty kill. 
All right, now we just gotta go underground. Um, uh, so we gotta go, gotta go get this first. Gotta get about a good amount of running to go. Do we continue to level up? And I mean, we might as well just like triple down on what we've been doing. Level ninety-nine. Oh man, we almost missed that one. I don't. There's no point in getting whatever that is. All right, so this will give us the curse mark of death. Upon getting that, we can kill Fortisax. So I guess we're gonna finish off the run with Estelle. I don't guess there's anything else we need. We'll just go run through these guys, I guess. Not really concerned with any of the bosses we have left. Like we'll probably die to Radagon and Melden Beast at least once, but not really, not really concerned. I don't think it's gonna be a tough one. That doesn't decrease our health. I had a theory that that was decreasing my health, but it's not. Uh, ancestral Woods? I think Glenstone Arc will be good here. Or just literally anything, because it's Moose. And we're way over level for this fight. Oh my lord. What does Glenstone Pebble do? Glenstone Pebble has better tracking, I think. I 27, so it's not much different. I'll go with Glenson Arc just because we don't get to use it much. Come on, man. We're not stamina, or else we would have just destroyed him. Did not kill him? Alright, goodbye. Nice. Alright, now let's go back to the Ancestral Woods. Oh, crap, we have gargoyles. Gargoyles might be the hardest boss we have left. Shifra. Uh, well, gargoyles are supposed to be weak to magic damage, right? So we should potentially just like, shred through them. Only one way to find out. I guess let's try Glintstone Arc to start with. I don't think it can hit twice, but if it can, then that'd be kind of cool. But I guess we'll find out. There we go. Nice. Okay. I'm about to say I have cheat codes at the moment. Goodbye. Alright. Moving on. I don't know why there's a grace here. Why would you ever want to come back here? Guessing. In case you forget to get the grace when you go to deep root. Um, should be fine on the NPCs. Not too terribly worried about. The Impaling Thrust is going to destroy them. Very confident in that one. Goodbye. I don't know. Okay. That thing's kind of weak. One of them was gonna hit him. I got plenty of flash. We're... Oh, I didn't use my physic. Yeah, that's perfect. Get lined up. Oh wait, we have a shield. Thank you. Nurse Fia. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, no, I want to be held, friend. She laying down? She do be laying down. Alright. Four to sex time. Oh my gosh, a thousand? Dude, just get absolutely obliterated. It, dude, just get destroyed. Maybe Hordesax isn't a late game boss. 
I always thought he was late game because this is like the last thing I do, but maybe he's not. Oh, uh, there's our curse mark of death. Okay, see now, now we do have. Okay, so whatever we're doing here is is causing us to lose HP, and it looks fairly significant too. Kill Estelle, kill the final boss, and then uh, we get to go. I don't think Estelle's gonna be very hard. Dude, we did a ton of damage to Portisex. That is not what I anticipated at all. I think Noxtella might be my least favorite place in Elden Ring. Uh, what? Okay, so here, here's why I think that, and here's why I think that it's probably not true. Like, this is beautiful and cool, but, like, you never actually go up in there. Like, you always just sprint to Lake of Rot. And it takes forever. Now, see, we're not going to be able just to spell the living crap out of uh, Radagon, so... Radabeast might be primarily short sword. And I'm not sure that there's going to be a way to avoid it. be a tragedy if I died, like, right here. Alright, um, let's go kill Estelle. Um, based on Fortisax, I think we're incredibly overleveled for where we're at, so... Did we go with Glintstone Arg or Glintstone Pebble? I think Pebble. It's not gonna dodge. Glintstone Pebble is just a tad, tad stronger. All right, enjoy that. That's way too far. That is pretty good damage. I mean, as long as we don't do anything stupid, we're gonna get a hitless uh, stealth fight, so. Nice, okay. Here we go, hitless Estelle. All right, let's uh, go kill Radabeast. I don't really have any expectations here. Um, I think we're gonna change class a little bit because I don't think we're gonna be using as much magic as we have in previous fights. I might be wrong. I don't think I am. Come on, get there. Nice. Big damage. Just it for the biscuit there. Paid off, but I don't know if that was the right decision. And dead. If he's at five, I guess. Yep, five. Well, I can even get another one in there, but I don't want to get too greedy. For three? No, it, it feels too slow. I'm just going off feel and it feels way too slow. Alright, here we go. I like that attack. Alright. Let's say we take the repost. Give me the repost. Oh man, we almost missed it. And GG's! Goodbye! He's even waving to us. Just like that. And we have beat Elden Ring once again. This time with the Astrologer. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Um, if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be pumping out more content. So final stats. Uh, we are looking at 25 vit. What? Hold on. We got final stats. We're looking at 20 vig, 20 mine, 15 endurance, 8 strength, 20 dex, 90 int, and then some trash faith in arcade. It's pretty good. You know, I think so far this is the best starting class for a few reasons. It allows you to have a lot more openings on bosses than if you were just to melee. If you use it right, you get the melee and you get the extra windows for um, your spells. And they're fast, so you can get them off pretty quickly. Um, so it's really nice. I don't know, I think it's the best one. I Now, the only challenge that I had was with Vig. Um, pretty much if you got hit anything by any late boss, you just died. Um, but if you don't need a lot of Vig, then this is the vibe, man. Anyways, catch y'all in the next one. Peace and blessings.